Welcome back to this series of short tutorials on how to perform reproductive analysis in Excel uh, using the instructions outlined in the standard operating procedure linked in the description below. What we're addressing now is weight length relationships. We have a pre-built worksheet for that and it comes pre-populated uh, in two columns uh, that refer back to the data that you've already entered. Uh, if you haven't entered your data already and don't understand how to do that, please be sure to view the video also linked in the description below. So the two pre-populated columns are uh, log to the base 10 of our length data in this column. So if we refer back to the data sheet, it's taking the log of your length data. The other column is log to the base 10 of your weight data. Also, that's referring back to uh, the data sheet uh, in this column. Once you're sure that you have everything log transformed, and it's always a good idea to scroll down to the bottom to be sure that you have one value for each one of the specimens in your data sheet, and here we match up quite nicely. All you will need to do is click on the Data tab and go to Data Analysis. Now, if you haven't installed it already, you need to install the Data Analysis tool, back, tool Pack in order to complete these analyses. Uh, when that's installed, click on Data Analysis, choose Regression, click OK, and then we input our Y data range. The Y data are log of weight. So click here at the top cell and then choose all of those data. And next we click on the Input X range and we're going to go to Log Length and choose all of those data as well. The next thing we want to do is have our output right there on the same screen uh, where all of our data are. So instead of going to a new worksheet, we're going to choose Output Range, click on that cell, and then click on D1, hit OK, and here are the results of your linear regression. So we have uh, the intercept value is log A, and the x variable here is the slope of the linear regression, which is the b value in the weight length relationship. Okay. So the b value is already in the form that we need it. Here we can see we've got b equals 3.11, but we need to transform um, the, uh, this uh, intercept value because it's log of a. So to do that, we take the inverse log, that is 10 raised to the power of negative 1.855, and this is what we arrive with. So the A value in the weight length relationship is 0 0.01 and the B value is 3.11. Come back next time and we're going to show you how to plot uh, this weight length information.